with a population that still has a majority living below the poverty line, but which appreciates the value of milk, the dairy sector in Kenya has aggressively embraced technologies and products that can deliver value to the customers. A majority of dairies have introduced lower-priced packaging formats including plastic pouches. The latest entrant, Long Life Milk with 30 days shelf life, is an interesting addition to a market where cold chains are limited or not existent at all. The middle class is projected to grow aggressively in the region. There has been an emergence of products targeting this demographic. These include low-fat, probiotic, fruit yogurts, yogurts with cereals, and low-fat ice creams. For Meru Highlands Dairy, the future of the dairy market is bright, especially for incoming processors, but challenges are inevitable in any business venture. The dairy industry uh, in Kenya is quite dynamic, and uh, right now there is an oversupply of, uh, of milk. The factories that are there, they are not able to process uh, uh, all the milk which is being produced in the country, particularly in some seasons. So the market is quite in di dynamic because now, if you go now during the dry season again, you find now there is no milk to, to process. So these are the challenges now which are being faced in the, in the, in the dairy industry and I think very little can be done about it. But as far as uh, uh, the milk is concerned, when there is oversupply, what we need is uh, more or maybe the factories that are there to increase their capacities so can they, they can improve also the intake of that milk. This is where our group members and even farmers in the neighborhood, they bring their milk, we hold it here, we cool it here, and uh, with that opportunity of holding milk for some time, at least, uh, and cooling it, it's part of a variation, starting the process of variation. You can negotiate good uh, prices even with the processors. So right now we are collecting about uh, 2,300 liters. The pool has got a capacity of 3,200. We are yet to fill it, but by, by going by the response of farmers, uh, and that it trust that we are handling their milk properly. Before the end of the year, we know we will have filled the, uh, the, the cooler. Having corrected our milk, uh, we agreed with the Brookside. Uh, it's the processor that uh, we sell our milk to. But it's quite unfortunate that uh, in the recent past, uh, milk prices have uh, dropped uh, drastically. We started by uh, selling a liter to them at that seven shillings. Uh, the prices dropped up to 31 shillings, but now they have, uh, but now they have uh, appreciated again up to 34 shillings, uh, which is still not enough for the farmer because of the high cost of production. So what we are intending to do, other than this cooling point, we are intending to. Uh, purchase equipment uh, to pasteurize our milk. With the pasteurized milk, we can sell directly to consumers uh, because what we are realizing is that uh, the shelf prices are not uh, dropping like the farm gate uh, prices for farmers. Kenya's informal dairy markets are central to the livelihoods, food security and nutrition of majority of its citizens, particularly the poor, women and children. This market is significant in size. 88% of Kenya's milk, which is 5.2 billion liters, is sold by unorganized, small-scale businesses in informal markets or consumed directly at home. The sector generates 70% of 40,000 jobs in dairy marketing and processing. The will probably require the, the support of the government as, as far as uh, uh, marketing of the milk is concerned. In fact, or even producing other, other related products of the milk product. Because also the market, market aspect of it also may be a challenge uh, right now 
But if we can maybe, if we can get the support from either the national government or county government to sell even some of these products outside the country, this one can really, can really uh, uh, improve the, the uptake of milk from the farmers. But for now, uh, the, farmer, the farmer really is, uh, is advantaged because when there is oversupply of milk, of course now the processors cannot take everything. The emergence hence of such processing plants like Meru Highlands Dairy, especially in the rural areas, is key in streamlining the sector. With such, farmers can organize themselves into dairy cooperatives and have a bargaining power on milk prices with the processors. They will also get to enjoy such benefits as loans to expand their farms. Once you enter into a contract with the processor, it's the processor who was to ensure his technician is there to receive and analyze that milk, yeah, even before receiving. So they have got their own standards, and it's those standards that uh, the farmers are enlightened on to ensure that they follow, uh, they follow the, 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 the standards that are required. But uh, in the recent past, there have been many issues and uh, there were many regulations that were being brought about by Kenya Dairy Board, which appear to be very punitive uh, to farmers. Uh, because in as much as we are saying that we are collecting milk from farmers and then selling to processors, in fact those uh, prices are not uh, uh, very friendly and there are farmers who feel once they have got an order somewhere, either these small hotels or other places, they have to sell milk yeah, uh, at the better prices more than we are receiving at the, uh, this point. And as you can see around, all these are people in these uh, houses. Most of the students from Kemi University and their staff, they live in this area. And uh, definitely, we have to sell milk to them. And uh, we don't have... Uh, pasteurization equipment, uh, the regulations that were deterring farmers from selling milk direct to uh, other consumers, they were really punitive and they were not favoring uh, uh, small farmers in any way. Otherwise, uh, our intention or behind our minds establishing uh, such a processing point is to ensure we improve on prices. Our interest here majorly is to support the, the farmers and we came in this industry to support the farmers uh, so that now we can supplement what the other competitors are having. Uh, we are not really uh, in any fight with our competitors. We are coming as partners so that we assist the, the farmers uh, in Meru majorly uh, so that at least now we encourage them to produce more milk as an economic activity. Because dairy farming, if supported seriously, then now it will generate uh, good, good income for, for farmers. Maybe, maybe second to, to Mira here in Meru. And uh, when we research, we realized Meru can support even more, more people because you can see now Mira is being uh, grown in a, in a small area of Meru. But Meru can be, can, uh, uh, many farmers supported, they will produce more Meru. And then now, majority of the farmers in Meru will, will better. The intended outcome is reforming informal milk markets and developing a stable milk market and profitable dairy enterprise. The main challenge we have is, the, we, we call them the workers, or they are traders anyway. But what they are doing is uh, the, the practice, or what they are currently doing is not the best practice. Because you will find them using the uh, containers, these are the containers, the plastic cans, huh? which are not actually recommended because of the issues to do with quality. And if these people transport milk, they can take even the whole five hours transporting milk. And at the end of it, the bacteria in milk will have uh, multiplied and that milk is not good for consumption. Uh, some of them even add water, adulteration, the issue of adulteration. Some add uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is not actually good for, for human consumption. So those are some of the challenges we are facing with this kind of uh, traders or orcas. But uh, what we normally do 
is uh, we always recommend to farmers to, to take all the milk to the dairy cooperative because that milk will be chilled and it will be picked by the processor and transported in a cleaner way. And uh, apart from that, we also recommend that all the milk that is actually going to be sold outside or that is going to be sold locally should always be pasteurized. But we also work with Kenya Dairy Board on the issues of uh, to do with milk quality controls. Also access to finance by milk traders, creation of more jobs in the value chain and providing safe milk through the informal markets to bottom of the pyramid consumers. Keep it KTN Farmers TV.